the School of Aquaponics. This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics uh, showing you today how we're going to build one of these radio flow filters. Um, a radio flow filter is a very simple design um, and is very effective at removing uh, settable solids, solids that are more dense than the water. Um, it's a very effective way of uh, removing that. So it's used as a primary uh, a solids filtration component. Um, there's many other options out there that you can use for filtration, but this, my friend, it works very effectively. So um, for simple home systems um, and even, even commercial systems, these are very effective and, and they're a, a recommended um, filtration unit. Now, the way that this radio flow filter works is very simple. As the solids enter in from the fish tank, um, they'll come through piping that's on the side and that'll be directed upwards um, towards the top of the tank um, and they'll escort those solids towards the top and then there will be a, um, a stand pipe placed over that pipe so when the solids come out um, then they'll have no, they, they won't be able to leave and exit out uh, through the outlet. They'll just have nowhere to go besides the, um, to go downwards. The ones that are more dense than water, they're going to settle out. The ones that are less dense, they're going to float on up, make their way out and they're gonna get processed for further treatment. Now, what I use to build this is a very simple uh, 35 uh, gallon um, inductor tank. It's a con has a conical bottom on the bottom of it. Now, on the end of the conical bottom, there's a two inch female threaded portion. Now, all I did was take a, a male a PVC coupling, uh, thread it, and then I just uh, uh, inserted it in there, and then from there I can reduce um, the, the piping to whatever size I want it. And in, in this instance, I chose to reduce it down to a one inch pipe. So I just put a reducer on the end of that uh, two inch uh, 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 coupling, and then voila, we have the size that we want uh, our drain to be. Now, what I did from here was I just used a 55 gallon drum. I cut one third of it off and uh, used this as a stand. Um, and the 35 gallon tank, it fits right in there, nice and snug, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I just put that in there and this suffices for the time being as a stand. Now there's other stands uh, that come made specifically for this type of tank um, and that may be a better option but this was just here so um, this also works as well. So the way that this is connected is it's connected to the outlet of the fish tanks. There's a four inch pipe, four inch diameter pipe, sewer and drain pipe here um, and then it connects down here um, to uh, an inch and a half uh, piping. Now what I did was I made a hole here using a two and a half inch hole saw, um, drilled it in there, um, and then I placed an inch and a half uniseal in here to plug it up, and then I placed a pipe, um, an inch and a half pipe that goes half of the diameter of this tank. So it was around, um, somewhere around 18 inches, somewhere around there. Um, put it in there, have the elbow on here, um, and then I just connected this four inch to two inch uh, it's like a rubber coupling um, and then tighten the both of those up that are nice and snug and then that is the connection the solids filter connection uh, to the fish tank now this pipe here that uh, was inserted in that runs half of the diameter of this tank at the end of that there's going to be an inch and a half um, elbow that's placed on top of that then on top of that uh, inch and a half elbow I just place another pipe that runs the height that runs the height of this tank so it pretty much is level out with the top of uh, uh, the top of the tank, um, and that's where the solids are going to come up from. Um, but the thing is, we want to prevent when those solids come out. We want to prevent them from exiting out through the outlet. So we put a standpipe on top of that, so it'll uh, uh, kind of keep those uh, solids concentrated and allow them to, to all drop down. And then the uh, ones that are going to settle, they're going to remain at the bottom. The ones that are not going to settle, they're going to get up out of here and go towards the outlet where they can get further uh, uh, treated. Um, so to keep all the solids concentrated um, with the standpipe, all I do is use a, a four inch diameter pipe, the sewer and drain pipe, um, and I have it, uh, the, the length of it is pretty much the, uh, towards the top um, and a little bit above uh, where the top of the, um, the inserted pipe is at, because we don't want it resting on the, um, on the pipe. It flies all over the place, man, get up out of here. Um, but anyways, so the four inch pipe will just have a cap on top of it and then all I'll do is uh, drill an inch and a quarter um, uh, on both sides and then I can place a PVC pipe in there that's gonna run pretty much the length of this center portion, this little center area um, where the, uh, the, the main uh, cap is at on this tank um, and then it'll hold the standpipe steady 
um, where the solids will, uh, and it will act as a barrier so the solids won't exit out and, and they'll be able to concentrate in the, in the area that we want them to concentrate. So the last thing on here is to build the outlet. And this is very simple. All we do is drill using a two and a half inch hole saw, boom, slap a one and a half inch uniseal in here, and then a, a one and a half inch pipe that runs across um, and then you can have further treatment um, after this area. Um, and if you have intensive, uh, uh, intensely stocked uh, fish, um, then you're definitely gonna need extra treatment after here for those fine settable solids. Um, it's not so much uh, a big of a deal if you have a super low stocking density, which is what the most uh, majority of people are using in aquaponics, but as you start getting up to the aquaponic guide level, you're gonna need further treatment um, to deal with those fine solids. So this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and hopefully you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to build a radio flow filter. So one last thing before I send you on your way, and that is where do we drain the solids at? Um, there's a few ways that you can drain the solids, but I'm gonna show you for this uh, particular system here. So when we have our, uh, uh, we have our, um, our, our drain connected to the bottom of the tank, um, and then we pipe it and we uh, uh, direct it to whichever way we're going to place it. In this case, it's going to be going towards the sump tank. So it comes out, comes towards the sump tank, has this valve on here where I can open it up, close it, whenever I want to clean the, um, clean out the filter and release some of those solids out of there. Um, and then what I do is just take this 75 mesh or 75 micron uh, mesh bag. Sometimes I use 50 microns, but uh, this right here is a 75 micron. Stick it right here on the top. Let it hang right on there. Open up this valve here. And all the solids are gonna are, are being released. And there's, a, there's a lot of solids in here. So once I open everything up, or once I um, once this is opened up and then once it's uh, all drained all the solids are drained out um, and I do a thorough cleaning of it then I just take these solids and put them in the mineralization tank man I can't I, I can't be giving y'all all my secrets man I cannot be giving y'all all the aquaponic guide secrets Woo!